Hello accommodation lovers and Edinburgh fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sienna and this is Curves on the Road. Today I'll show you where you can stay in Edinburgh when it's the time of the festival and all the hotels are extremely overpriced. We picked August not because of the festival but because of the weather and you can see from the footage around here that we were lucky and it was sunny all the time so there are benefits of coming in August but also all the accommodation extremely extremely expensive so if you want to save a buck you can do it like we did and we booked ourselves the student dormitory room. We've stayed in dorms twice in Edinburgh. This is the first place and it's called Beaverbank Place Campus Residence. First, let's talk about the things I loved about it. First of all, it has an elevator, so comfortable. You can get upstairs. It's very secure, you get a chip, you have to use it for the doors downstairs, then to the apartment, which is like several rooms, plus a kitchenette, and then for your own room. One thing we learned the hard way, if you want to lock the doors of your room, you have to again apply the chip. So just closing the door doesn't do the trick. The room is teeny tiny, it has a smallest bathroom but the water current the best I've had in hotels in years so yeah is it a little bit of going back and forth to find a place to stay in the in the shower yeah but still it, it's definitely fine I love the shower here in this first dorm room we got towels there was some hand soap and some shower gel so the equipment was there, unlike in the second one. For a big person like myself, it was a little bit of a Tetris to find which angle I'm supposed to stand to open the doors to get out, but the strong current made up for it. The bed, on the other hand, oh my god, like for two people, too small. It's just for one person, really, and you have to really like coordinate very well to be able to squeeze two people in the room. The bed sheets were clean, no complaints there, and there were sockets all over. Of course, keep in mind you're in the UK, so if you're from another part of the world, you will probably need the adapter. There's a lot of storage space, no hangers though. As I said, it's a student's dorm room in the summer. So basically students are expected to bring everything from home and you just have to get by without it. The view was of the campus square and it was lovely. Let's have a look at the kitchen. It's fully equipped with a stove, microwave, fast boiling kettle, big fridge and even a freezer. There are sofas to rest and it's fairly sufficient. I was really happy with this place but if you do not feel like cooking I have a few tips where to go for breakfast. This is the first place for breakfast that I would definitely recommend if you're staying at the dorms. It's not so expensive and we didn't need a reservation to go. By the way, if you're in Edinburgh at the time of the festival, you might need to do reservations for your brunches, dinners, if you want a special place that is quite popular. This Heta? Hata? I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of the cafe, but you didn't need a reservation and exceeded our expectations. On the other hand, we went to the Blue Bear Cafe where we needed a reservation and it seemed to be very popular, lots of people were coming. And honestly, I feel it was a little bit of the influencers high. We ordered Egg Benedicts, which I love because I can't make them runny and guess what, neither can them. 
the breakfast costs as much as the full English breakfast in another place and we weren't even half full. So I probably would experiment not relying only on the places that are known from Instagram pictures. If you're also looking for a place to go in the evening for a beer, I would recommend a cozy little pub called O'Connor's that is walking distance from the dorms. It was super comfortable, they had good craft beer, lots of kinds of whiskey and great atmosphere. You could also eat there, they were cooking till 10 p.m. I believe and they also had my favorite sticky toffee pudding. When it comes to drinks, I stuck to my favorite Guinness beer. I'm now sitting on the bed in the second dorms in Edinburgh that we have visited. This one is just for one night. Uh, differences and similarities. It has, again, an elevator, which is great. We like that. It has the same teeny tiny bed. I mean, can you see it? Like, I'm sitting here just for the reference. It's so small. Like, if you're traveling more people and you think you can squeeze two people in one room, good luck. Really, really small bed. And the pillows are terrible, guys. Again, same thing, both places. This place is called Destiny Student Residence Murano. And again, no hangers in the wardrobe. Uh, the bathroom is absolutely the same, just this one doesn't have any soap or any towels, so you have to bring your own. Also, what was kind of surprising is they wanted 100 pounds deposit, not to break anything. I honestly don't know what in this room would have such a value that you could break over one night needed, but I guess it's more like a rule for the students for the whole term, so they just keep it to keep things simpler and I think it's rather more complicated. We came by car, so technically we needed a parking spot, but there's no such thing. You have to park on the street and yeah, I think it should be free around especially in the evenings from 6 p.m. I believe the parking is usually free of charge but finding one might take a little while and patience so if you're coming by car that might be a little problem. The parking at the first dorms was not any better there were like three or four spots that were already taken and then you had to rely on the street parking so yeah, taking a car to these establishments is not the easiest task to do. There's obviously free Wi-Fi in both. The quality was quite okay, can't complain, didn't do big things streaming on it. But like since it's a student dorm and they usually need to research online, it's understandable that it's okay. The, the internet works fine here. This is the view from the room, nothing spectacular, but yeah. So that's it, that's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you give me a student's thumb up and you can subscribe to my channel. I upload every Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day and bye.